What's up guys, Josh Luck here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an editable text field and a PDF using InDesign. So without further ado, let's get started. Now I've got InDesign open up here, and I've got the certificate. And in the certificate, when I export it as a PDF, I want it to be editable, where right here in this middle area, people can insert their name, and then down here I want them to be able to insert the date. And so I need to create a text field that is editable for when I send it off to the client. So how we're going to do that is we're going to select the shape tool, in this case the rectangle, because it's going to be a rectangular field, and drag a shape around the general area you want it to be editable. So this is a good space for the name. And then once you do that, you're going to right click it, go down here to interactive, and then I know this is kind of out of the capture window, um, but down here it says convert to text field. You're going to want to click on that. And then after you click that, you'll see it's kind of got a dashed line. That's how you know it works, and now it's editable. And it'll also open a window over here. So here you can change the name and some of the settings about it. So we're going to change the name to name, just so they know what to put in there. And for the event, um, you can either use click or release on tap. I usually use on release or tap. Um, so when people click on it in the PDF, they can do it. It's just what I default to. And then down here, you want to make sure it's printable. And here you can change the font and the font size. So we're going to, um, let's do enter UI, make it bold. So the name stands out. And then you want a nice big font because it's going to take up a lot of space. So let's just do 45. And then when you click off of that, that's ready to go. And so I need another one down here for the date. So if I click on this box, hold can hold option, you can drag and copy it, and then just resize it, and this basically duplicates it. So I want to click on it, change the name to date, and then uh, a little bit of a smaller font. So let's just do 25 still bold because it kind of matches the signature over here but that's of course personal preference so once you have those two in place click on them they're still dashed just to be sure once you do this you want to go to file oh okay so it's out of the capture window um, so i'm just gonna have to verbally describe it so up at the top left go to file export and it should pull up okay cool now we're back in the capture window. So after you click export, export, you can save it. Let's just save it here to my YouTube files, editable text. Yeah. And then down here, the most important part is your default may be print. You want to do it, it to Adobe PDF interactive. And when you click on this, it makes it interactive. So we'll save that. And then all this should be good by default and it is exporting. But we're not done yet because whenever you do that, it pulls up a, um, a preview. And if you notice when you type into it, it's left justified and obviously we want it in the middle. And then same for this one, left justified. So what we're gonna do is close out of this preview and go to where the file is saved, right click it, open with Adobe Acrobat. And this is where we're gonna change how it looks when you input the text field. So let me resize this real fast so it's within the capture window. Let me get rid of this. Oh, it looks like I have an extra box down here from where I tried to film this earlier. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do here is over here in the left, where it should say prepare form. If it doesn't say that, go to more tools and add prepare form or open it. And it'll pull up this menu. So here you can see where you named the form right here, name, date, disregard this. This is from a earlier filming of this. Actually, I can just delete it, that's easy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is for the name, double click on this and you can pull up all these different options. So here you can change the text color. So let's say I want it to be red. 
Actually, I want this orange just to make it uh, stand out better. You can change the font if you don't like how it turned out, and you can also change the font size. And then if you go to, where was it? Okay, under Options, go to Alignment, Center, and Close. And now when you type in, it should, can it show me? No, it doesn't show me a preview, but it should be in the center. So let me go down here, Date, do the same thing, double click on this, Align Center. Everything else should be okay for now. And then go to File, Save. And now you can close out this. And now whenever you open the PDF in just your preview window, you can see that it's in the middle, it's orange, and you can do the date. And there you go. And also I just noticed that this is has an outline around it. So with the box, I'm gonna quickly, because I think I didn't mess up, but I just forgot to take off the stroke. So over, over here where it says stroke, uh, double click on this where it has a black square and hit none. And now when you export it, there should not be a bounding box around it. Let me just quickly do this for this one. And as you can see, it got rid of the box. So that was my bad. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Um, so that should be it. And I know I went kind of quickly. Um, I wanted to make this a short video so you can get on and get successful with this. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.